What's going on? It's your boy Tricks, and it's time for the do's and don'ts of life. All right, so I'm going to chronicle and list some of the do's and don'ts of life because there are things that just agitate me that I just don't understand. Here is do not do number one. Uh, if you are a driver and you are driving on a highway, right? And you see an accident, keep going. I don't know why people stop to view what's happening. You like disaster? I don't care if a car's on fire. I have things to do. I, I don't wanna be behind you when you decide to drive by watching an accident, creating another one. Just mind your business, okay? Car's already on fire, there's nothing you can do. So unless you plan on getting out of your car and putting it out, Keep driving, okay? Thank you. Uh, do not do number two. I hate when I put a video up and people comment and tag their friend and you like talking a different language. What's the, if you don't want no one to know what you're saying, why don't you call that friend? Why are you going on my page to look at a video or a picture I put up and then you tag a friend, obviously you want to talk to, and then you write this whole epic little old comment in like a different language. What happens if like one of my followers who also knows that language decides to DM me and tell me exactly what you say? So now that I know that you've called me an overdeveloped water buffalo, I will fully block you, okay? Stop doing that, okay? Write in English or add a bouncing ball effect so we can all understand the translation, all right? Here is a do for the adults. Know when to leave. That's a huge one. Okay, there are people, men and women. Okay, I'm only talking from the guy's perspective because I don't know about the other side. But when I invite you over to my house, you know when to leave. I am sick and tired of people overstaying their welcome. There are certain things I'm gonna do to let you know it's time for you to go. Like if you hear me say, I got an early morning test day, and you're like, yeah, man, me too. Let's watch a movie. No, that's not what I meant. It means I have an early morning, I want you to get the hell out so I can go to sleep. And let's answer the question that a lot of people have been asking. If I invite you out for dinner, then I should pay, right? I'm getting tired of people knowing, not knowing when to go Dutch in a situation. A lot of girls, uh, have this issue with guys and vice versa. First of all, man, if I invite you out for dinner, I should pay. I'm a, as a man, I'm saying that. Do you concur, Zico? I agree. But if I say, hey, if we both kind of like have this conversation, we're like, yo, man, there's this new spot that opened, Fringes, Drake's Restaurant. We should go sometime. And you're like, yeah, we should go. That's a Dutch date. That is not me inviting you, okay? Me inviting you is me like taking you out of your house to go somewhere not us coming to a mutual understanding of a restaurant and then the bill comes and you just stare at it. Okay, it's fringes, it's expensive. That is definitely a Dutch day, okay? Jack Astor's, no problem, got that covered. Red Lobster, eh, depending who you are. Comment, subscribe, let me know uh, exactly what you think the do's and don'ts of life should be. I'm sure there's plenty. I know there's a lot of trolls that have some. Here's a don't. Trolls, don't comment. Not interested in what you got to say. There's a don't. That's a do. That's a, That's a do don't. for me. That's a do for you. I'm gonna be the first one commenting and trolling. Subscribe to the video, people. Peace. Can't talk about the Trinis without mentioning Jamaicans. I feel the Jamaican dab would be more of a statement, a little bit more abrupt.